So James, 17th of January, Monday the 17th of January. Um, I guess the first thing to start with is how are you feeling? Good. Yeah, really good. It's, it's um, I, I think the most difficult thing is, you know, coming from a, uh, from having done no fitness at all, it, it's, it's proved um, definitely to be an eye opener in terms of how, how I was lacking in fitness. Uh, before I, I was drinking quite excessively. Um, I was smoking. I was, I had a pretty good social life, but it probably showed around my waistline more than anything. So um, yeah, no, I'm, I'm feeling good. I'm feeling good. Obviously there's a long way to go, but um, the training has gone well and yeah, long may it continue. Yeah, so um, am I right thinking you're almost four weeks into the process now? How have you noticed it sort of developing from when you started four weeks ago, sort of just around Christmas to now? Like, are you noticing a big difference? Yeah, absolutely. I, I think more. I think the the, the biggest thing that I, I've noticed is is just just the stamina. Um, I, I, I can before when I was boxing in terms of being on the pads, I could only probably last for about thirty seconds. Now I can get through one four round. Obviously, there are three two minute rounds, so there's still a long way to go. But I think the biggest difference is just being able to keep up the tempo, keep up the. Um, I, I guess just 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 keep it up, and 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 that's the biggest thing I'm working on at the moment. And so is that something that you've been doing a lot of at the start, a lot of like sparring, a lot of time getting used to being in the ring? Is, is that what you're focusing on? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. So I, I, at the moment, it's um, first of all, it's, it's getting the technique right. I, I think when I first started, it, it's very I was very um, like static, so I wasn't moving around a lot. Um, so I, I, was, I, was, I was punching the pads, but then I was standing still, whereas now it's all about moving footwork, trying to punch and move and I guess just just always keeping on your toes. And what would you compare it to anything you've ever done before? Because a lot of people who have said they've done boxing begin to start boxing. Is it just completely different to anything they've ever sort of done? Is there yeah. anything like any transferable skills you picked up doing anything before that you think have helped? Or? So it's a good question. I mean, from I, I guess probably not. I think the only thing I can probably relate it to is resilience in terms of my job, what I do on a day to day basis. You know, you've got a I work in sales, so you, you do get a lot of no's, you do get a lot of rejections. And I feel like not so much in sport, but certainly with, you know, with, with boxing, I think you have to keep going, keep keep up the intensity. Um, you obviously don't get rejected unless you're on the canvas, but I, I think, yeah, just, just just knowing to keep going, keep it up, keep that intensity high. And I think that's probably how I can relate this to my job. Mm, so, so talk me through, what, what's your average day looking like at the moment from from waking up to going to bed? How, like, how, how are you, how are you, how's the whole process looking? Yeah, so I, I mean, I, I walk to work before I used to get the the met. Um, so that so I walk one and a half miles there, one and a half miles back. Um, I, I don't eat very very much. I think my diet consists of a lot of proteins, so a lot of. So I'll have a um, I'll have a protein shake in the morning, walk to work, um, and then I won't eat anything now until lunchtime. Whereas before I'd probably have a packet of crisps or whatever, or a biscuit with a cup of tea. Whereas before I've cut that out now. Um, my lunch I have a lot of um, a steak, <clears throat> a lot of chicken, and then I walk back. I train every evening, so I train with where's my boxing coach on a Monday, Thursday, and Friday. Tuesday and Wednesdays, I'll be training myself, whether I be running um, or, or doing um, some weightlifting. And then, and then next week, I start with the group, the actual group. Um, to, with the, does it so that'll be on a Monday and Wednesday as well. So, and my weekends are probably I probably have a Sunday as a rest day, and then Saturday I'm in the gym. So it's, it's pretty full on at the moment. Right, yeah, it just sounds it. So, so what you talk a lot there about, um, for example, with your change in eating habits. So beforehand, you would have sort of snacked to get you through the day. Mm -hmm. Have you got any advice for someone who is just starting to doing that? Or, or are there any things that you've learned which have helped you? Because obviously, that's quite a big change. So what have you found really difficult about that? And how have you sort of got through it? So I think I think it's definitely down to the quality of food you eat. Um, so for now, I don't feel hungry now. I eat a lot less, but I'm never hungry. Whereas before, I probably would not eat substantial meals to make me to, to make continue make me snacking if that makes sense so I feel like if you can get your diet right you're not going to be hungry and and you don't have to go down the route of just eating veg um because I don't think that's sustainable I think if you if you can incorporate some some nice foods whether that be chicken with a certain type of spice on it or, or whatever that might be enjoy your food dieting I think the biggest thing I'd say is dieting doesn't need to be a like a nuisance or a chore for you you can use adventurous uh, menus or, or whatever recipes whatever you want to call it and and, and make it work for you um, and that's probably what I would say I enjoy my food now better than I've ever done but I, I eat a lot healthier yeah so what if you started eating which you weren't eating before which you're like oh god I'll incorporate this into my life after the boxing is done and this is something that you would continue to eat is there anything that comes to mind uh, well I'll be honest with you Harry I, I feel like I don't I didn't never I never cooked before so I, I was on big on delivery whether that be pizzas burritos all that horrible stuff that whilst it's great at the time you feel lethargic afterwards you don't really feel great so I think being able to cook now and being able to I don't know being able to 
use my own spin on things and eating inside for example i never used to eat steak um and obviously too much red meat is not, is not necessarily good for you but but certainly i'll continue eating that i love chicken um and I, I guess everything i'll eat i don't think i'll ever go back to eating that stuff i mean once in a blue moon if you're hungover or whatever after i finish this and then, then probably but I, I'll, I'll always cook from now on i'll never go back to relying on on, on takeaway food mm, and, and that's something that i'll definitely want to touch on a little bit later but i'm, I'm interested to get your thoughts now do you think this is something that you're going to continue on with after this whole process is done? I mean, you're still in its juvenile stages. I'm, I'm sure you'll look back at this interview in a couple of months' time and think, God, this person didn't even know what was yeah. to come. Yeah, but yeah. Do you already see aspects of your life now which you've left behind where you're like, I don't want to go back to living that way. Or I, I don't want, like you mentioned the food and the eating, like is the exercise, is that going to be something that you want to continue as well? 100%, 100%. I mean, I, I plan to, to go away a lot this year. Um, so... I, I always felt, you know, when when I go went away on, a, on to a hot country or whatever, I felt a little bit not embarrassed about taking my top off or, or, or whatever. But I, I I never felt really comfortable as much as other people do. And mm. uh, I plan to go away at some point this year to, to obviously relax and, and take away from from the stresses of life. So I want I want to continue and I want to go away and have, having confidence in what I look like. I feel, <clears throat> you know, when I when I first started the process. Looking at it, I, I took a side-on photo, a video of me and a and a straight photo, and then I because you never from, from when you're looking down, you never see it. You, do you know what I mean? You you never actually see the worst that you're or, or what you're carrying around you. And by looking at, it, I thought, wow, I'm never going back to that. So whether or not I do something like a challenge like this again, I don't know. Um, I mean, but but I, I'm I'm one of those type of people that needs to be stimulated. I have to have a a goal, and I'm sure I'll find something. But I will never ever go back to to the way I was now. Yeah, no, because I, I found it really interesting. I was watching one of your first videos and you mentioned that you were 100 kilos at Christmas. Yeah, yeah. And so do you have a target in mind for what you want to be come the time you fight? Have you thought about that at all, where you want to like hit? Yeah, so I mean, I, I've, um, I know I weighed 100 kilos. So I, I know t I, I work in pounds now because that's what my scale is. So I think at the um, before Christmas, I think two years before Christmas Eve, I weighed 223 pounds. Um, I'm just, I'm at 214 now. Um, but I think... I want to get sub 200, 100% or below 200. And I think the, my aim is about 190, 195. Um, if, I, if I weigh as much as I did now, but with a lot of muscle, that's different. But, uh, but at the moment, I've just got so much fat around my legs, around my gut that I just need to get rid of it. So in answer to your question, I feel like 195 would be, would be a good target to have. Mm. Now, you know, you mentioned Wes, your, your boxing yeah, 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 yeah. I'm intrigued, actually, to understand how the dynamics of your relationship with him work. So I think people who have been watching your videos from the beginning will have seen sort of you interacting with him. How is your relationship? Uh, how do you think it's benefiting you in the process? Are you enjoying it? Yeah, I actually am. And I, and I will continue with him after this is done. Um, I feel like he is a hard taskmaster. There's no, there's no escaping that. Uh, he, he's an amateur boxer himself. I think he's had like 50 or 60 fights. So he, know, he knows what it takes to win. And he was pretty successful at that. So his job is as a personal trainer, but he specializes in boxing. So I get on with him really well. I have a laugh and joke with him, but it, it, he does actually get that extra 10, 20% out of it, out of me. Um, I, for example, I went training with him tonight, as I'm, you'll see in the in the next video that comes up. And well, one of the things we did was sprinting and I, I think I pulled a muscle in my leg and, and I, was in, I was in agony. And I, I stood back on the treadmill and I slipped and I thought I was going to go over. It was going at the max speed. And I said, I can't do it anymore. He said, well, you're not leaving this gym until you give me another 30 seconds on that speed. And it doesn't matter how long he waited. I tried to wet him out, but I tried to get him into a different conversation, but he he, he never forget that. So, um, yeah, I, I got on with him. I think he's going to come to the fight. So, I'm, you know, I, I don't want to let him down. I don't want to let anyone down. Um, but he he's a really nice lad. But at the same time, he works me really hard. So I think that's that's the aim. So, yeah. Yeah, and do you think that's obviously that's something that's really important to establish, isn't it? I mean, it, you can become quite friendly with the person who's training you, who's, who's keeping you fit. But yeah. it's I think it's obviously important that you're having someone who, when, when it comes down to it, has your best interests at heart, don't they? And they they understand that the being kind is actually by being mean to you in that specific situation. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Then then I guess it, it wouldn't be beneficial to you at all. Um, so th that's really interesting. And so now looking on the boxing side of things. You talked about obviously he's got pedigree in that respect. Yeah. Is there does does I mean he might not have said this to you, but is there things which he sees as like early positives where he's like, okay, this is really promising? Has he mentioned anything which he thought thinks is good in you? Yeah, absolutely. Yeah. So I think you know for me, I'm quite lucky that I've got a fairly strong punch. Uh, so mm. I, I feel like from my, um, I think when he assessed me early on, he did he he knew that I'd got I had a fairly solid right hand and. So I think he's always been complimentary about that. He, I think that the, the big thing for me is the boxing necessarily isn't the issue. It's just the fitness. So to answer your question and, and I 
maybe give you another point is that he, I think the boxing is something that he thinks I can do. The biggest weakness I've got at the moment is my fitness. Like without a doubt, he, he did say to me today, he said, look, if your fight was this time next month, so it's, it's two months almost in a couple of days, but if it was this time ne uh, next month, he'd be worried for me. So, um, and that, that was a bit of an eye opener. So I think, I, I think the boxing's okay. I, I think it's good. It's obviously, it's nowhere, it's not world beats level. I'm not going to say I'm going to beat Tyson Fury or Anthony Joshua anytime soon, but I feel like, and at the level I'm going in at, I think I could hold my own. Um, however, I need to see out the three rounds. And and that's that's the biggest thing for me at the moment. And that's what he's pushed me and training me on at the moment. So, like, just touching on that as well, I'm quite curious to see how you're feeling mentally in that respect. Because it's one thing, um, and I think a lot of people throughout this process, although especially those who have done it, will understand this and sort of empathise. It's one thing saying, okay, I've got to have the stamina and I've got to have the fitness. Mm -hmm. But does it worry you? that idea that you might get in there and and you'll never really know until the moment you fight, you can do all the preparation, but does it worry you that you might not necessarily be equipped to do it? I guess, is it just about getting yourself in that right position as much as you can? Yeah, hundred I, percent. I, you know, I, I said to, I, I put myself on a pedestal here. I said a lot of people, I'm, I'm very vocal about it. I'm doing this YouTube channel, for example. Um, I've, I've put a load on my Instagram. I think, you know, a lot of people are probably sick of it by now, but I think I, I use that to, to keep me in check, if you see what I mean. If I didn't publicize it, then I could quite easily fold away into the distance. No, no one, whereas if I keep reminding people about it, I'm reminding myself that I'm, I'm telling everyone. The last thing I want to do, Harry, is, is on fight night lose and then have to post it on Instagram that I've lost. That is, mm. that, is on, that is that is my biggest fear. So, um, <laughs> I'm, I, but, but but going to your question, I, if I if I, I train five times a week at the moment, I eat healthy, I eat clean. If I continue that and I walk in and I get beat, it will sting, it will hurt. But I can look, I can look at myself and go, do you know what? You give your best shot. If I train a couple of times a week, drink, smoke, and and never take it seriously, then I can't look up and I and I, and I lose. Then oh, it was just, it's just a complete waste of time. So it it doesn't work. I think you know. I've just got to keep going and if it whatever will happen will happen so we'll see what happens so what's what's the thing that you find sort of I don't know I don't know how to phrase it, it's almost most intimidating about the whole process because obviously there are some aspects of it which are worrying you it can't all be sunshines and rainbows uh, so is there any aspect which you, which is not keeping you up at night but is thinking god that that worries me about the process is it the actual boxing itself the idea of getting in there because it's i think it's a difficult thing to prepare yourself for yeah. um i i found it really interesting when i was watching some footage of you of you sparring and you got hit in the face and you obviously weren't expecting it because it was body sparring but you almost seem very shocked i like, god that's what a punch feels like yeah. and i think a lot of people aren't necessarily prepared for that does that worry you? How do you, how do you feel about that? Yeah, it, it, it does. I mean, I'm not, I'm not a fighter. I've never been, I've never gone out into town and, and kicked someone's head in. Um, and thankfully no one's kicked my head in. So um, I've never, I've never really had the, the experience of being hit before. Um, and I think that was one of the, the very few times I had. So yeah, I, I think that that's always a concern. I mean, I don't want to, I don't want <clears throat> to go out with me staring up at the lights so what I want to go out on my two feet if I did lose so I think that that's always at the back of my head I feel like I'm starting sparring very early on now just to get conditioned in that uh so you know I don't, I don't think you can ever spar enough and and by doing that I just if I get I keep getting hit and hopefully you know if you soon realize you're not made of glass you're not gonna you're not gonna break if someone hits you so so yeah I mean I, I've just got to keep going that's the only thing that worries me um and, and I, I guess you know not being able to see it out I have to get fit I keep stress I keep going on about it but I have to get fit I can't you know you can't just say oh, I need a breather halfway through a round you you have to keep on your toes so I think those two things are probably the the ones that concern one's in my control one isn't so I've got to keep going yeah so so you talk about like that <laughs> sparring you're doing you're you're standing there you're across from someone else I mean there's there's something really primal about that like yeah. the it's gladiators there's no one else to help you it doesn't matter what background you come from mm -hmm. what is going through your head initially when you're when you're in that moment and it's there's nowhere and no one else to protect you apart from yourself what are you feeling when you start sparring at the moment uh, do you know what do you know what's really strange i mean that's a, that's a really good question i feel like i have to i have to channel it and i have to pretend there's someone else that may or i may or may want to hit if you see what i mean so hmm. if i if i look across at wes so i've only sparred with wes really um at the moment i like him He's, 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 and I actually apologize some days. We sparred today and I clipped him. We're only doing um, body sparring, so I don't have any gum shields or head guards at the moment. So, um, and I clipped him in his jaw and I, and I straight away, just because that's the person I am, I went, I'm really sorry about that. And he went, why are you saying sorry? 
what, what, why are you? Well, I said, because I, because I like you, and and, and you get me on. And he said, you need to look as me at someone you hate that you want to hit, and and they did, we did it again, and I did, and obviously that person's going to remain nameless for for obvious reasons, <laughs> but um, but um, I did, and I had a complete different outlook to it, and he and he took a step back, and I, I just kept going, and I, there we like you have to use your brain, like I think boxing's very obviously it's very physical, but you have to use it mentally as well, and. Uh, so yeah, so I, I just I channel it now, and I've only done it once tonight, but it made such a big difference, and it, it gave me that extra bit of adrenaline that I think you're always going to need. So, so yeah. So is that something you've given any thought to? Is because um, I find it really interesting that idea of sort of channeling your inner rage and almost seeing red and just oh, yeah. fully going for it. And I think there's a lot of value to be gained from doing that. How do you separate that and when it gets into the night, everything you've learned? So I'm sure you're already noticing that you're doing things which, which Wes has taught you and that you've trained with and you're picking up like things to do with your footwork. How do you ensure that you can do those things and also get in the zone when, you, when it comes to fighting? Because is, is that not going to be, that they're going to be very difficult to do at the same time, aren't they? Yeah, they are. They are. And to be honest with you, I haven't even thought about it. <laughs> so to be honest with you, I, I felt like that's something I need to do. I mean, I, I have had so much new stuff being thrown at me over the last couple, mm. of, couple of weeks that... I haven't even really thought about the night. Uh, the, the night for me, I mean, it's two months away and it doesn't, it doesn't sounds quite a bit, but it, you know, I'm already three or four weeks in, so I'm already a month in and that's flown by. So I do th need to think about it. But at the moment, I'm just, that that's in, that's parked in my back of my brain. And maybe I do need to think about it. You know, maybe I do need to start realizing it, but I think at the moment, I just, I, I, I need to see how three rounds training first. Hmm. At the moment, if I, if I think about the fight and I, then I think about, how bad my fitness is at the moment it's still it's come a long way don't get me wrong but if I think about the fight now then that's just gonna it's gonna mess with my head and I, and I can't really afford to I need to remain positive and think I'm gonna win mm. so and so sort of one of my final points is um you've touched on how you think your career helps you in the whole process yeah and and sort of gives you gives you that drive what aspects because I think when people have been watching your previous videos they, they're probably interested to know more about you as a person especially those who don't know you who are watching them what aspects of your personality do you think are being really helpful in the whole process and they're really sort of catering you to do well? And what aspects are you finding, God, I'm not naturally like this. And so this is what I'm having to work really hard on. Do you see, do you see what I mean? Yeah, yeah, I do. Yeah. I think that's, that's a really good question. I think, um, I think from, from, from the past, I, I've moved to Manchester, um, as you know, and I let, came on my own. Uh, I didn't go to university, so I don't have any friends up here. So being that resilient, I, I feel like someone that I can, someone that can step out of their comfort zone. I feel like I've, I've achieved that on a number of occasions. I feel like that's helped me in this when when you're in the ring. What I've really struggled with is the fighting aspect of it. Uh, as I'm not, I'm not a fighter, as, I, as I've already clarified. So being able to just just think, you know, it, it's me or him at, at this particular moment in time, and he's not going to apologise if he hits me. So wh wh why am I why am I thinking in the back of my head? Oh you know, I, I don't want to hit him as hard. So that's the real thing I'm struggling with is, is being able to adapt to thinking, right, this is like, it's war. It, it, it is a war and it, only one person's going to win. So the resilience has definitely helped me get this far and, and, it, and it will get, get me through it. But I think that the toughest thing is is being able to be to be mean and, and just not take any prisoners. I mean, I, I have some aspects of that in my job, but not by knocking someone's face in. I mean, I've never done that before. So, so that's the hardest thing I'm adjusting to at the moment. Mm. And so we'll, our next inter interview that we probably do like this is going to be in a month's time, mid-February. Yeah, yeah. What do you want to be seeing in yourself then? If you could, could let's look at yourself in a month's time. What mm. sort of person do you want to be sitting there across from me again? Uh, I, I want to be. I, I want to be fitter. I want to get through. I want to come back to you in in, in a month's time and say, look, I've been through. I've got through three rounds comfortably. And you know, what, I think what I'm going to look at is this interview in a, in a month's time and think what I did say to you, and I hopefully I've achieved on those things. Um, I will have inspired more than one person by that point. So I will have a very good ident I, I, um, idea of, of what's to come and what my weaknesses are. So I hope to be able to separate on that. But yeah, being able to fit, getting through three rounds. If I, don't, if I can't get through three, three rounds by, by the next month with a month to go, then I'm in trouble. So I need to just work harder at that. Hopefully I'll have a lot of weight in my face by this point and, and put on a bit of muscle around my, my shoulders and that. So I look better. But yeah, certainly, certainly fitness wise, that, that's the key. Okay, and I want to do this in during every interview, uh, at the end of every interview, sorry, I should say. Um, prediction now for the fight. If you had to make one now, obviously you don't know your opponent, but if you said, this is what's going to happen in two months' time, what's going to be? It's, it's hard not knowing who your opponent is. Um, but I think for, for me, if... <clears throat> I mean, I'm not going to win. I'm going to win. So I, I, I'm, I'm not going to sit down. My prediction is me losing because that, why, why would I even train? So um, I, I'm going to win. Uh, I, I think... 
being it on, a, on an amateur scene, it's very difficult to knock someone out, partly because of uh, the head guards and things like that. So that, that could be tried. I'm not going to say I'm going to knock him out in the first 30 seconds, but I'd like to say, <clears throat> I'd like to say, but I think my best chance to do that is to, is to win the first round, because at the moment, that's as far as I can get. I wouldn't win the first, second, third round at the moment. No chance. So I think on points, James Holder wins. James, thank you so much. I think that's a great insight. And I think people are really going to look forward to sort of seeing a different side of you that they haven't seen. So thank you. That's everything I've got. Thanks for your time, Harry. See you in a month.